Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back to the bench. Today, we're going to be testing these Deco Color Chrome, well, Chrome Colored, Gold Chrome, Rose Gold. Um, we're going to put these in an airbrush. We're going to open them up and pour them out, and uh, we're going to see how they perform uh, airbrushed. That's the uh, point of this, and that's what we're going to do. Anyway, uh, a very exciting week coming up. Uh, more colors are going to be added to my paint line. Uh, I'm not going to get too much away, but uh, later this week, my tricolors, look at that. So, also giving, announcing the winner of the giveaway of anybody who bought a set of my last uh, colors introduced, the uh, Metalizer colors. So the winner will be announced. It's a big giveaway, and um, we'll announce that also this week. So it's a big week coming, so uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so uh, you can uh, know when that video pops up. And we do two videos a week anyway and plenty more giveaways to come. Um, I even think I got one of my uh, Swallowtail Babatos Rex airbrushes here. We're going to be giving away one of those very soon too. So you want to be a part of the channel. Anything to do with painting, model building, miniatures, any of that, uh, subscribe. We're here for you. We're testing it all. And... Uh, for this one, we are going to be testing these markers. Now, we're going to spray it over flat black, gloss black, and on some plastic kits. I took this airline model. Well, not an airline model. I think this is an A10 tank killer. Sawed it in half with my plastic saw. And I also got a new saw in that I'm going to be testing also in an upcoming video. A little handheld uh, saw. I think it's from Dispay, if I'm not mistaken. But we're going to see how this goes. Usually this stuff doesn't get affected by what the color is in the base. So that's how we're going to show you all of them. But I believe no matter what you spray it on, it seems to cover it all the same. Uh, it's not quite like an all-clad type of paint. It uh, really is just a thick marker paint um, thinned down so it can be passed through uh, the top here to the uh, felt tip. But anyway, let's go ahead and... Uh, open these up. This is gold and this is rose gold. I don't know if I can grab this one. Hold on guys. Alright, got it. And it's double sealed. Check this out. It's also shrink wrapped. Uh, so let's get that off. Now, um, I'm going to show you guys the prices on these. These are pretty reasonable compared to uh, Molotow. So I'm hoping um, these perform well. So that's a big deal when you can save money and uh, get a high quality plating type look. Uh, let me grab my other phone here. All right, the gold one is eight bucks and uh, not bad. I mean, the same size in a Molotow is at least 12, but the uh, pink gold one's a little less. Yeah, 592. Check that out. So uh, I'll put links below um, for these. Uh, five bucks, man. If it performs good, that's worth having uh, on your bench. But uh, we're going to shake these up with my uh, four E's. Whoa, check that out. Man, that uh, bearing in there is really going to town. Got a spoon dance here in the corner. So uh, I believe the top's going to unscrew like the other. Yes, remove this seal. Yep, the label's got to come off. I think I tried it on the gold already. I'm going to shake it up, and I'm going to, yep, check this out. And I'm going to take this part off, and we're just going to pour it into a jar. Now, for the jar, I'm going to pour it in all these Tamiya uh, mixing square jars. I have a bunch of Tamiya spare jars. I love these things. But check these out. These are little uh, tester size squares. Now, I've removed the label. I'll show you what I mean. It comes with this Tamiya label on them. And they come off really easy, so I'm really happy about that. If they were silk screened on, like one of my other ones, then I always end up thinking it's Tamiya paint. There you go. I just get rid of that, and now I have my own jar to use anything I want in it. And uh, I have a ton of these. I bought these when I was working at a hobby warehouse. I mean, I got boxes and boxes of them. And I also have the round ones, the small and the large round ones. Um, I don't know if we can get these locally or... Even if Amazon has them or somebody, I, I'll try and look before I post the video and see if I can put a link for you guys. But anyway, we're going to pour the ink into these. Let's get some of this out of the way. And um, 
this label has to come off. I know that. I did it on the uh, chrome one, the gold one, rather. So let's see if we can slice that up and remove that. No, it doesn't seem to... Wow, this one's a little more difficult than the other one. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there's the seal. I had to get it so I could see what the seal is, and it's right here. And there it is. All right. So that's how you break the seal on these. And there it is. I can unscrew it. There. All right. Let's get that sticker off my finger. All right. Let's open this up. I'm going to try and spray it straight. I don't think it needs to be diluted. I believe these are alcohol base. It doesn't say, but I believe I read it on the company's page at one point. These are made in Japan, by the way, if you guys want to know, which is uh, kind of a rarity. And uh, it doesn't look Japanese, does it? Get deco color. It looks like an American product. But anyway. That should be good. Good old 4E's paint mixer. That thing is awesome. I use it all the time. If I need one on the bench, I use that. If I'm using the bigger stuff, my Typhoon paint mixer is below the bench. All right, here we go. Take this pot off. Oh, there we go. I got it. I'm going to get a cup for this. Just drop it in there. There we go. All right. Let's see what we got. Whoa. Oh, there goes the bearing. A little more than I thought. And I think if we thin this, we can probably stretch it out. But it looks perfect enough as it is right there. All right. Now I gotta somehow get this back on here. Let me put this aside. We'll cap that up in a minute. Get this out of the way. All right, so that's one. Now we're gonna cap this. I could put a label on it, I guess. I can label that baby. Let's see what the rose gold looks like. All right. All right, let me get another cup. As these are stuck together, I use these cups for everything. All right. I don't know. This one's going to look as good. It looks a little just pink. I hope it comes out with that plated look. That's the whole point of this. And let the bearing go in there. All right. There we go. All right, put this aside. This one also aside, I gotta cap that off. All right, we're all stirred up, so I'm gonna get the four E's. Oh, this thing's heavy. I'll put a link for the mixer below. Uh, I use that daily along with my other one, and they're both expensive at 100 bucks. They both work. I use them every day, and if something works well every single day that you use it, it's worth it to me. But there you go, that's a good looking color. And that's our rose gold, and that's our. Regular gold. Is there any kind of name to this gold? Just says rich gold leaf finish. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Now, also, uh, I'm going to be testing uh, some gold leaf paint. We're going to be diluting that in another video coming up to see uh, if we can get uh, a leafing effect while airbrushing. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and use uh, my Barbatos Rex airbrush. We're going to go at about 18 PSI, and uh, we'll head over to the booth, which is this way, my Pace Spray Booth. And uh, let's get going. All right, guys, here we are at the booth. I have loaded up the gold, which is what we will start with. Let's get that gold, liquid gold look there. All right. Now let me get this dusted off. Eh, use my shirt. Hey, it looks clean there. Here we go. All right, here we go. I know this stuff doesn't have to be misted on because it's a whole different application. It actually has to go on heavy. Oh, you know what? That's the look. That's leafing, actually, believe it or not. It's got a, a little bit of a semi-gloss to it. It looks like it's... Wow, look at that. I was hoping for a chrome look, but I'm guessing that's not what we're going to get with this. Now, I think we're going to get the same thing with uh, matte black.
Yeah, same thing. I mean, we'll compare them at the bench. All right, over bare plastic. This is just a model of an A10 tank killer. Yeah, see, I, I don't think the base matters. I'm looking for that gold chrome look. We're not going to get it with this. It is a really nice, even looking gold, though. All right, let me, uh, let me pull this back in the jar, clean out the brush, and we'll see what the rose gold looks like, and then we'll compare them. All right, here we go with the rose gold. You can see it there. Oops, what's that on there? Is that dust? Get that off there. All right, on the gloss black first. Definitely looks like it does in the jar, that's for sure. Exactly plating look, but uh, a cool color. Let's try it over to the matte black. That's my kind of color. I like that anodized look over the matte black. Let's see if we can get that to look like something here. I think if I uh, don't go close, we can get a nice anodized metal look. That's pretty cool. I might let this sit like this. How about this? We'll do the front, the front, the tip pot here, heavy. Let's see if it does that shiny look and if it will dry like that so we can show you the, the gloss and the dull there we go don't know how it's going to dry but. all right let's check it out on this plastic wing piece That's it, it's pretty even. It sprays easy, man. This stuff sprays real easy. Nice and even, it, it's, it sprays nice. All right, hey, that's it. Let me uh, pull what I got left here back in the jar, clean out the airbrush, meet you back at the bench. All right, guys, here we are back at the bench, and uh, results are pretty good. Uh, a little nicer than I thought it was coming out. It's sort of a plated look. Um, it sprays even, it dries even, uh, really is foolproof. Uh, by the way, it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell like a lacquer or... Um, trying to smell it again. It, it doesn't, I can't quite place what it is. I, I thought it was an alcohol base, but I'm not getting an alcohol smell. I'm going to have to research it again. If anybody knows, please... Uh, um, Leave a note below. I mean, it's just pigmented, non-toxic, so light, fast, permanent, acid-free, opaque. I'm guessing it's a, some kind of an acrylic. It has a smell, but um, not alcohol or what I figured it would be. But anyway, it lays down pretty good. Um, this is over the gloss black. This is over the matte black finish. Like I said, you're not going to get much of a difference. It's a slight smoother difference here. Um, it looks rough, but it's not that rough in person. I think it's my lighting. Not bad. I mean, for five bucks, you get a nice big tube of it. Uh, all right, the rose gold. That's over uh, the shiny black, and then I sprayed it over a shiny white spoon. Got kind of the same results. And then this one, over the matte black, I put it on really slow and dry to get that anodized look. And then I put it on heavy on the tip so you guys can actually see just by how you spray it. How you gonna get it? You're gonna get that anodized look that I love. Where's my, that's a little even, even that's too shiny, my uh, red. Oh, where's my new color? Here we go, my burnt bronze. See, this is an anodized metal, see it? Mine's a little nicer, but uh, that's what you get when you put it on heavy versus really light mist coats. So you're gonna get two kind of results. Of course, if you end up with this dull part, you could just clear over it anyway. But that's the results. Uh, 
I was hoping for more of a plated look. I'm kind of disappointed. I have more that I'm going to test. Let me reach over here, guys. Um, I got these liquid. I mean, these are actually, I think, listed as chrome, right? Chrome, gold, bronze, and copper. This is AK Interactive. And then these are listed as chrome. And these are rose gold, star gold, bright silver, mocha gold, bronze, champagne gold. So, I mean, these actually say chrome high gloss. So I'm wondering if this will get us a better result. This set of six markers was $14.79, or $14.79, about 15 bucks. The problem here is I'm not gonna get as much at all. A much thinner marker, but these tests are coming up. I will uh, try these behind the scenes to see if it's worth our while. If we're gonna get a nice chromey look on any of these, then I'll, I'll put the video together and, and put it out. So I'll be testing these behind the scenes. I have a bunch of them. But uh, these two have the colors that I really want to try. Anyway, um, yeah, that's the test. That is the results. Uh, not bad, just not chrome like I wanted. But it does lay itself down pretty nicely. And uh, without even taking away details, you can see all the details here. Anyway, guys, that's the, uh, that's the test. I'll put links below for both of these. And, um, yeah, don't forget to uh, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like the video. That helps a lot, too. With this new lineup of colors you see in the background, the tricolors, it's two for each plus a clear coat. And I'm not going to show all of them, but you're going to get a result like this, which truly, truly is amazing. Look at that color. And uh, in that test, we're going to paint my Bronco here, my new Bronco kit. And we're going to paint that with one of the colors. Maybe that blue will look good on it. I don't know. I'll think. Oh, yeah. So that's coming up, and there's an array of colors right there. And, of course, my steel snow has come in. Look at that. It's like an anodized white metal. Oh, boy, I've been waiting for a color like this for a long time, and it's finally here. So, yeah, the testing has begun. And my, uh, don't forget, my steel apple is in. That's that one right there. And, uh, actually, this looks different on everything you spray it over. It's a really universal paint. This is it with a gloss. This is it without a gloss on it. It's a beautiful color. I'll put a link below to the Steel Apple. It's available at Gundam Pros exclusively. Oh, we lost Barbatos. Get it back here. Sorry, Rob. Rob built that for me. Let me put that right there. Yeah. And there you go. And the Iron Maiden mask seems to be a smash hit with the fans out there. Love Iron Maiden. Been listening to them since, uh, oh boy. Might have been the debut. I'm showing my age now. Uh, Number of the Beast was my first album of theirs. I bought it when it came out. That's how old I am. <laughs> Anyway, guys, yeah, anyway, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Coming up, that big test, and in between, we might have something by then, but these are coming out, I believe, on Thursday, which is August 1st, and we'll have that big, big giveaway, too. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a great rest of your weekend. God bless you all. Have a great day.